This is Kate Cruz filling in for Scott Becker on the Scott Becker Private Equity Podcast. I have Justin Breen with me today. Um, Justin is the founder of Brepic Network, Brepic Communications. He's an author. Um, Justin, can you please introduce yourself for us? Well, it's it's uh, great to connect. Um, I always uh, love doing these interviews. Um, yeah, it's it's fun being a COO of uh, two companies where we connect visionaries to serve humanity. So I'm either spending my day with my family or connecting top visionaries on planet. I love it. So tell us a little bit about both of the um, companies that you have founded. Um, I know you have Brepic Communications and Brepic Network. Um, would you mind explaining the difference between those two and how you sure. came about founding both of those? Sure. So um, that that's a good question. Um, started first company, Brepic Communications, in 2017, was a journalist uh, for 20 years, created the entire business model uh, for that company based on how PR firms annoyed me for 20 years. So saw a problem, created solution, problem solved, successful global company. And then really all the, the PR firm is just, a, it's really just a giant incubator of geniuses and we're constantly introducing each other for mutual gain. Uh, and the byproduct is I'm constantly getting intros to companies around the world that want to hire PR firms. So Brepic Network is literally just a, SAP, a SaaS platform uh, for connections to anything. So with that company, I'm in Chicago. Uh, my partner is in San Francisco. Uh, most of his day is doing eight and nine figure deals. That That's not my world. And then my wife is the COO. Uh, my wife's a pediatrician and she's also the COO of Brepic Network and she's an, she's an onboarding machine. So she's brought harmony and order uh, much like she has to our family to the second company. That's awesome. I love it. I love the innovation. Um, what was some of your go growth strategy for Brepic Network, um, yeah. having already the communications business and PR business? Yeah, that's a great, another great question. So, um, so again, purpose of my life is connecting visionaries to serve humanity. So building a SaaS platform, that is not, <laughs> I would electrocute myself, die if I tried to do that. So uh, my partner who we've met twice in person um, in two years. Um, he does full backstage stuff. So he found the folks to build the SaaS platform. He's good at running the meetings. Um, and then I just stay in my lane uh, where I talk about it um, and then introduce folks who I think would be good members to my wife. And then my wife is a pure integrator, relator uh, to all humans, and she's an onboarding machine. Um, so I don't really care about uh, revenue or anything like that. Business owner stuff, it annoys me, but my wife is a machine and she's onboarded well over a quarter million dollars in new uh, partners, clients in, in the two months she's been COO. And then since it's only for visionaries, it's not for business owners or humans, it's pure visionaries. They're starting to introduce members uh, to the company themselves because they want to hang out with visionaries. So it'll scale itself. It'll scale itself. From my perspective, I just wanted it to work, and then it's staying in my lane. I didn't, I didn't know how to make it work. I just wanted it to work, so now it works. Who is a visionary to you? Yep. So most of my day again is either spending time with my family uh, or connecting the world's top visionaries. So not business owners, not humans, not not consultants. By the way, you're you're a very curious person, and you're definitely you definitely lean towards visionary tendencies because a human wouldn't wouldn't be interested in what you just asked so right i can i can tell you're your visionary leaning um and that you're very interested in this subject because you would have been like oh thanks for your time today you would have hung up otherwise so um okay so uh a business owner cares about revenue office space employee count uh transactional stuff they're trying to change their world there and then a true visionary cares about purpose, spending time with family, loved ones, pure connectivity, and they're trying to change the world, the. So it's a fundamental, it's a fundamental difference. Um, and then visionaries don't want to hang out with business owners because they don't know what they're complaining about. And then business owners don't understand visionaries. So it's a completely different way of living life. And then so we just created a platform that connects visionaries to serve humanity. And then visionaries want to hang out with visionaries. So they bring their friends into it and then they help change the world. It's very simple. That's super interesting. Fascinating. 
Right. So what are your uh, core priorities right now? Right. So um, Earl Nightingale, uh, he's the OG of motivational speaking. He was um, he was um, doing audio recordings in the early 1900s. Um, and I like to listen to folks that are long gone or have all this wisdom because the answers are already there. But so my my favorite quote of his is success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. So my worthy ideal is spending time with my family. And then worthy ideal is purpose of life, zone of genius, unique ability, whatever you want to call it. And that's connecting visionaries to serve humanity. So that's all I do every day. And I'll do that the rest of my life. So it's right now, it's 10 years from now, it's a hundred years from now. So it's very simple. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Justin. Um, where can people find you? And is there anything else you want to leave with our audience today? Well, one, um, you're you're definitely a visionary. Um, I'll be very interested to see what you do. Um, if you start, an, I'm guessing you've already thought of starting a company, but uh, then you will. But uh, the main site is brepicnetwork.org, brepicnetwork.org. And uh, it's really exciting to have that site ready to go. And and it's it's just a wonderful collaboration. Awesome. Well, I encourage everyone to check it out. Justin, again, thanks for your time today. It's been great. Thank you, Kate.